Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be of a dramatic gold cut crease. So let's get right into it. Starting off with the eyes, I've applied concealer all over my lids, then blended it in with a damp beauty blender. Then I've applied an eye primer over top. Using the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette in the shade Extra Creamy, I've applied the shadow all over with a fluffy brush. Going in with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette in the shade Sandalwood and the same eye brush, I've applied the color over my eyelids, stopping just below my brow bone. Using the same concealer, I've applied it to the lower half of my eyelids, then looked up. This creates a line for creating the cut crease then I've filled below that point. Using Extra Creamy again, I've applied the shade over the concealer with a flat shader brush. Using the eyeshadow foil 24K, I've applied this over top of my eyeshadow with my finger. With the shade Henna, I've used a fluffy brush to blend the color out on the outer corners of my eyes. Using Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife, I've applied the highlighter over top of 24K with a flat brush. With the shade Henna and a small angled brush, I've worked the color over top of the cut, and then I've slightly blended it out with a fluffy brush. Using a flat brush and a concealer, I've applied a thin line directly below my brows, then filled them in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil. I've then reapplied concealer under my eyebrows and blended a clean brush over to tidy the transition. With a liquid eyeliner, I've applied a big bold wing. Then with Trophy Wife, I've applied the color into the inner corners of my eyes. For my base, I've used the Fenty Pro Filter Primer, blended in with a Beauty Blender. I've then applied a YSL foundation for a lightweight base. I've then used an orange color corrector over my dark areas and concealer over top. Using a baking powder, I've set this directly under my eyes over top the concealer. With the powder foundation, I've brushed over top any areas that were harder to conceal. A 
And then with a clear brow gel and a bit of concealer, I've tidied above my brows and set them in place. Using the Balm's Bahama Mama bronzer, I've contoured my face and applied a Zoeva blusher to my cheekbones. To finish off my base, I've brushed off the setting powder, then used Trophy Wife as a highlighter. I've then curled my lashes and applied the MAC Extra Dimension Mascara all over, focusing on the roots for a bolder effect. Then with the MAC Subculture Lip Liner, I've lined my lips and applied my favourite ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Bumble. Hey guys, so this is my finished look. It's quite a dramatic golden look. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please do like it and subscribe to my channel.